Hello everyone, hope you're good, hope you're well. This week, we'll be looking at cultural perspectives on managing in the multinational corporation, paying a particular attention to ethic approaches. But just as an overview, we'll be looking at cultural perspectives and how these impact on managing in multinational corporations. We'll be looking at ethic approaches, so we'll start by defining and describing ethic approaches and also looking at some emic approach definitions. Then we'll look at how cultural influences affect multinationals and we'll look at Hofsted and Trumpner's cultural dimensions. So, if we look at historical approaches to international management, we can start with universalistic theories. So these theories have radical convergence around globalization. They pretend that management and organizations are subject to the same universal laws everywhere in the world. And we'll see that in our core text for this week. Basically, what these theories try to say is that they predict that cultural differences will disappear with globalization. So as globalization continues, cultural differences should disappear and the world should have one homogeneous culture. The other flip side of this are particularistic theories, and these leave room for difference to an extent only in the fact that these theories say that organizations and management in different countries differ fundamentally and that different explanations are necessary because of these fundamental differences. So they insist that cultural differences will persist with globalization. Okay, so here we have two theories, universalistic theories saying that cultural differences will leave because of globalization and particularistic theories saying that cultural differences will persist with globalization. And this brings us nicely to the different approaches to studying national culture, whether they persist or they leave. Okay, so the first approach to studying natural, uh, national cultural diversity are ethic approaches, okay? So ethic approaches relate to or involve the analysis of cultural phenomena from the perspective of one who does not participate in the culture being studied. So sort of like an outsider approach, okay? So analyzing cultural phenomena from the perspective of one who does not participate in the culture being studied. And the flip side of this, we have emic approaches. And this relates to or involve the analysis of cultural phenomena from the perspective of one who participates in the culture being studied. So one who actually does participate in the culture being studied. We have these different approaches to national cultural diversity. So we have the ethic approach, which is the outsider approach, one who does not participate, and we have the emic approach, the insider perspective, one who participates. Now, you might ask yourself, where does reality lie? And it could be that reality is somewhere in the middle, okay? One who is a bit outside, so you can look at the big picture, but one who also participates, so you can understand the nuances. And this week, we'll be looking at ethic approaches, which relate to or involve the analysis of cultural phenomena from the perspective of one who does not participate in the culture being studied. So one who does not participate in the culture being studied. OK, so. I'll put the case study online. Um, you will see it in the KLE folder and it is a cross-cultural negotiation process between a firm in America, US of A, and a firm in China, okay, the People's Republic of China, right? And when you read the case study, I want you to ask yourself certain questions. What are the different approaches both parties take to business negotiations, okay? So how do different parties different cultures negotiate. 
The second question is, what are the mistakes both parties have committed in the cross-cultural negotiation process and what could they have done better? So as you read the case study, okay, what mistakes did they make and what could they have done better? And then finally, the third question is, can you explain the different approaches and mistakes on the basis of ethic and emic research into the American and Chinese national cultures? So from the perspective of one who does not participate and from the perspective of one who participates in both cultures, okay? So those are the three questions to answer as you read the case study. If you want to do some further reading before you come to class this week, you can ask yourself certain questions. What is culture? What exactly is culture? What influences culture? How does culture affect multinational corporations? Or how are multinational corporations affected by culture? And should multinational corporations consider culture when devising strategy? Okay. Finally, we should ask ourselves, what is the role of cultural diversity in international business? So ask yourself these questions as you come to class. Okay. But once again, just to be clear, when you read the case study, these are the questions you have to answer. You can type it up on your computer or you can uh, write it on a piece of paper or in your books. The questions you have to answer that we'll discuss in the tutorials this week are what are the different approaches both parties take to business negotiations? What are the mistakes both parties have committed in the cross-cultural negotiation process? And what could they have done better? And finally, can you explain the different approaches and mistakes on the basis of ethic and emic research into the American and Chinese national cultures. In addition to the three case study questions for this week, I have also put up a class reading and I am giving you two additional class reading questions to add to the three case study questions okay so you see it in the clearly folder you see you have a case study and you have a class reading okay so here is the class reading um here are the class reading questions okay so you see the class reading is it's it's an article by professor erin mayer um, a very interesting article and um after reading that article please answer these questions the first question is describe the eight behavior skills of the culture map okay so when you read it you see that there are eight behavior skills please describe them the second question is what are the four important rules that may suggest when comparing the relative positions of different nationalities so that is your second class reading uh, question okay so um, please read the case study answer your three questions read the class reading, answer the two questions, and I will see you in class. Okay, have a fantastic weekend or week. Bye for now. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye now. See you.